At the 2011 general election some 11 years ago, the sexual orientation of an opposition candidate came into the spotlight with the PAP asking the Singapore Democratic Party to, I quote, come out of the closet, unquote. And the PAP statement on this issue pursued an innuendo that made an allusion to pedophilia. In view of the speeches made by PAP MPs over the last two days and the call for any change on the definition of marriage to be a political question, can I confirm the PAP's position with regard to LGBTQ plus candidates standing in general elections? Mr. Singh mentioned pedophilia. Again, I don't recall the facts, so I can only answer in hypotheticals. I think if a pedophile was standing for elections, I'm surprised Mr. Singh would advocate that cause. This was the statement that was released by the PAP. What is his agenda? A video has been posted on the internet showing Vincent Vijay Singer participating at a forum which discussed the promotion of the gay cause in Singapore. I don't think there's a problem with that statement. And thereafter it says, the discussion at the forum also touched on sex with boys and whether the age of consent for boys should be 14 years of age. The innuendo, I think, is clear. In the video, Mr. Vijay Singha was introduced as being from the SDP. In, re in addition to other comments, Vijay Singha stated, I think the gay community has to rally ourselves. Perhaps one outcome of today's forums, forum would be for those of us who are interested to come together to further consider how we can address the 377 issue, as well as further rights issues in relation to gays and lesbians. Now, I don't have any issue with the, the PAP coming up and saying, look, what is the political agenda of a candidate? But what is the relevance of that point on sex with boys, if not to cast aspersions on the candidate himself and to suggest that, did he make that point? Was this a forum where this was the only issue that was discussed? So that was intentionally included. That's my view of the statement. Mr. Singh started out the second question by saying, that pedophilia was talked about. Now, let me make it clear to him. If there is a candidate who is standing for elections, whether for the PAP, and I hope the PAP will never field such a candidate, or for the Workers' Party or SDP, and if there is a suggestion of pedophilia, I will certainly speak about it. And I'm sure all right-thinking Singaporeans will speak about it and will say it is not acceptable. The issue was it about Pedophilia, and I agree with him. I don't think anybody in Singapore would be thrilled to have a pedophilia as a, pedo, a person who is a pedophiliac standing for elections. But the question I asked was, what is the PAP's position with regard to LGBTQ plus candidates standing in general elections? I don't think that question has been answered. It appears to me that, as usual, Mr. Singh wants to move the goalposts and start an entirely new debate about who can and who will stand for elections. I'm not the Prime Minister or the Secretary General of the party, but my personal view is that anyone who is not a criminal and who is of good character and of sound mind and who can work for the residents ought to be able to stand for elections. In all of this, in a democracy, it also depends on how people are perceived and accepted in society all of these are relevant considerations. One has got to look at individual candidates. But Mr. Singh started out by talking about fatal failure. I'm sure the records, Hansard will show that. And that is why I answered, because I was shocked that he would even ask that question. 